Praise Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you this evening to the Shed of Many Names, where we're going to be working on a wonderful chickweed tincture. Yesterday, I harvested two and a half pounds of chickweed. It's just a wonderful, wonderful spring medicinal and too many people think it's a weed you know weeds gotta have grass mm -mm. no i prefer the natural spring medicinals to grow in my yard instead with that being said we're going to talk a little bit about this wonderful chickweed now of course i'm not going to be using all of this in a tincture I will be um, drying the rest of what I don't use because I don't want to waste this plant at all. Because you can only get chickweed. You can only harvest it in the springtime. Once it starts warming up, it will disappear. So, with that being said, let's talk about this amazing plant. Now, I will have more information in the description box below this video. Now, before we start talking, I'm going to add the video in of me harvesting some of the chickweed so you know what it looks like. We have a beautiful example of chickweed growing in with the purple dead nettle. And I'm just going to harvest it. Because I've got two videos I want to make. No sticks allowed. Whole bunch more chickweed here in with the purple dead nettle. So I'm going to have to be careful what a harvest. But i got plenty of chickweed. And it's going to be a whole lot of fun. See y'all back in the shed. Okay, welcome back. Now, let's move the camera and let's talk about this wonderful plant. Now, what I do personally, because it has a lot of moisture in it, is I harvest it the day before. I will rinse it off real good. Don't use no soap or anything. Just good, clean water. Rinse it really good. Let it dry. Sometimes I'll use a salad spinner to get as much water as possible. And let it wilt overnight. Now, the wilting won't hurt it a bit. It will help release some of the water that's inside of it. It won't hurt the medicinal benefits, not whatsoever. Now, this plant is amazing as a tincture, as a tea, and also as a salve. But we're going to talk about the tincture part of it. It is a, um, it blocks histamine in your body. So if you have spring allergies and, um, allergic to things around you this will help dry up the mucus in your sinuses it will also clean up the mucus in your lungs it forces you to it's an expectorant it forces you to cough the mucus out it's also amazing for gut health it helps heal your uh, stomach walls and also your digestive tract and so many other wonderful benefits of this great spring medicinal. And there is some purple dead nettle. Out that one goes. It'll go into the compost pile. So what I'm going to do, first off, make sure that your workspace is completely sanitized and clean. Make sure you have a sanitized, clean um, jar bottle whatever you're using you can make it in pint it's gonna be fun trying to get it in a pint jar 
but you can use a quart and well me being me I'm going to make a half a gallon so what you do is as you can tell it has wilted down quite a bit look for uh, dead leaves take those out and they like to grow also around purple dead nettle so just keep your eyes on and make sure I mean it's not going to hurt you but I like to keep my tinctures one plant only and what we're going to do is I like to cut it up into small pieces so the alcohol doesn't have to work so hard And like I said, this is the time of year to be harvesting it. That's if it's growing in your area yet. You want to harvest it because once it starts getting hot, you won't see it. It'll it'll go away. It will wilt and be gone. so many wonderful medicinal benefits of this wonderful plant. You know, so many call a weed. They have done a very good job teaching people to be scared or not know what grows around them that will heal them at each time of the year and this is absolutely wonderful to use for spring like pollen allergies and when your sinuses go wild in the springtime I said the rest of it is going in the dehydrator tonight and it's going to be put back for tea I don't want it tight packed I want it slightly loose packed but you want to make sure you have plenty in there and that's a half of a half a gallon. But look at that beautiful and fresh green. Now, I have already bought with this bottle and got the plastic uh, pour block or whatever you call that out. Let me tell you, they are a pain. And I am using, since it's a green, fairly kind of juicy plant. 100 proof vodka because if you use anything under 100 proof it is going to go bad on you because it'll be too much of a, uh, too much water and I have another bottle I was ready this time another bottle of 100 proof to top it off oh man it's got the poor thing on it And I like to fill mine up to the top rim. Now, if you don't want to use vodka, you can use vinegar. But 
you're going to want to make sure that you do the same way with vinegar if you can't have the alcohol because you do not want to water down your vinegar. Now, as this sets up, the chickweed inside will break down and you might have to add more, more vodka into the bottle or the jar. It had a little bit of air, so my alcohol level went down some. But you know what you do? You just fill it right back up. It didn't go down a whole lot, so I'm happy on that one. Okay, you put your lid back on. You agitate it again. Now, you're going to want to store this in a cool, dark area or cabinet and agitate it gently every day or every other day. And at eight weeks, not before, it will be done. At the eight-week mark or longer. At eight weeks, it's ready to use as medicine. Um, if you can't get to it at the eight-week mark, that's fine, y'all. That's perfectly fine. It's pickled. It's in 100-proof vodka. It's not going to go bad. Okay, and always, you can make a label, put it on the side. I use my Sharpie markers because... I don't stack anything on top of mine um, because the bottles, if, as it gets cold and stuff, they may sweat. So it could ruin your mess your label up. Okay, and we're going to write chickweed. Tincture. And today is three twenty six. No, twenty seven. That's what it is. My gracious. Make sure your dates are correct. All right, three twenty seven. Now, eight weeks from March the twenty seventh. You'll count eight weeks out, and your tincture will be done. I do not talk about dosage amounts right now because you can't take this as medicine right now. Now, if you brewed it into a tea, then yes, you could drink it. A cup, um, if you're doing it to fight the, the seasonal spring allergies, you would take... Uh, one to two tablespoons of fresh or dried chickweed into a cup and pour hot boiling water on top. Put a saucer on top of your cup and let it steep until it's cool enough to drink. Now you can sweeten it or you can just drink it like it is. It will work for uh, mucus buildup in your chest and force you to expel it. It's uh, wonderful as uh, uh, gut health. It helps work with the bionome inside of your body so you have good digestion. And uh, it's, it's just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And like I said, every day or so, Gently agitate it a little bit. And like I said now, don't worry. It's going to, your plant material is going to go from this vibrant green to a very dull green. That just means that the alcohol <clears throat> has pulled out all the medicinal benefits of the plant material. Now, 
uh, the, as a T, yes, you would do that once to three times a day. It depends on, on how much you want to take. And there's no poisonous look-alike, so you should be fine as long as you figure out what chickweed looks like growing in your yard or area. And, of course, don't pick it close to the road. Don't pick it anywhere where they use poison or Roundup or spray any kind of ugh, pesticides, anything. You want to make sure you find it in a clean organic state and that's why i tell most people just grow it in your yard and when i say about growing it in your yard you notice i have this pile of chickweed here see all those little brown specks underneath all those little brown specks that's seeds y'all that is that is chickweed seeds, and I have plenty of them, and yes, I will be saving them, but simple, easy, anybody can do this, and like I said, you can also dehydrate it, cut it up, dehydrate it, and use it as tea as well. It is an amazing spring tonic, a spring medicinal that Everyone should be gathering and harvesting and putting back. It makes a very good tea. You can also eat it as well. It is culinary. You can put it into soups and um, add chicken broth. It's, it's just wonderful, y'all. And I'd like to see more people using and consuming chickweed. Right now, the springtime of year, some very, very important medicinals are waking up, especially here in the south and the north. I know y'all got a little while longer, but definitely search out chickweed. She's very important for us, and she is a blessing. Be careful how you harvest. Don't pull it up by the roots if you can help, because that way... She will come back and also shake the plant as you harvest it and let the seeds fall to the ground so they'll continue to grow there. Or you can shake the seeds when you get somewhere with a big bowl and that way you can let the seeds dry and you can grow them wherever you want them to grow in a raised bed. But just remember that once the temperatures she comes up early early in the spring but once the temperatures get too warm she disappears and won't come back till next year and that's why it's always important to gather her as soon as you can and put back as much as you can because this can be in the dried form you can add make soup make uh bone broth with it or have bone broth, add it to it, cook it, and a tea, you name it. So many wonderful, wonderful things. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I hope this video encourages you to make your own medicines. Stock up forage for your own wild edibles as well. Take care of yourself. These plants will heal you. As long as you search them out. I hope this encourages you to do the same. Because every little bit we can put back. Will make a big difference in the future. Y'all stay safe and sound. Continue to stock your pantries with food that will sustain you nutritionally. Stock up on your medicines. On your teas your protection, and so on. Things that you truly will need. Everyone, stay positive. You got this. You can do this. Study up and see what chickweed looks like if you don't know what it is. And also remember, in the description box below the video will be even more medicinal information broke down. 
everyone take care i look forward to seeing you in my next video and may you each be blessed i'll see you soon